Welcome back to today's is RG Dream League live here from the DreamHack Monster Energy Studios in Stockholm. We're back here with uh, Jacob, David, and myself. Gentlemen. Yes, uh, we are friends of Shiva's. Oh, nice. Jorian. Jorian. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you're only friends with someone if you call them by their real name. That's a first name basis. That's, mm. the, uh, that's the mark of friendship. But then why do people, people always call me Shiva? Do it's actually just me? because your name is so <laughs> hard to pronounce. <laughs> I I like that you went for that one. You could have just said that everybody hates me, but he didn't do that. Okay, so that game, Liquid, dominating performance. Naga Siren game, you said, David? I mean, I don't know how much more there is to say about a good Naga Siren <laughs> game. Uh, Miracle had 150 CS at 15 minutes. When you're hitting 10 CS a minute, you know the game's going pretty well for you. Like I said, Finham thought they could beat that because they had an anti-mage farming, but... You had the Matu lifesteal, you had all the pieces. They had some really good fights around the song into Arrow. Yeah. Uh, it was a stolen Arrow at that. Yeah, it was um, like a, it was a fairly early GG call as well, but it just goes to show that at, uh, at Finham realized that this game was mostly over. Yeah. Uh, every little attempt they did at trying to kill anything on the, on the side of Liquid was just shut down and basically turned around whenever they tried to display any kind of aggression past 10 minutes. This was uh, the first game that uh, Miracle played on Ice Iron com competitively. Let's add that. Uh, he came 45, 45th highest on the GPM on that. On I mean, he's never played it competitively and he before. He never played it competitively before. I guess with OG, he was always no tail playing it. Yeah. yeah. But Probably. I mean, he, he's played a lot in pubs, I want to say. Yeah. You mentioned that was one of the heroes oh, he played a lot in the different. Miracle. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. sure he's played it here and there in pubs on his climb up to 9k. But, but it, it's it's one of those heroes that'll only climb in GPM as later as the game goes because this game ended before you know yeah. he did the whole Manta Octarine race where he can just farm the entire map and extend his net worth. So it's so no surprise already... that his GPM was significantly lower than normally. But still high for his first game. Uh, well, and still high for game. the for the minute mark. I think that's what yeah. you gotta look at. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, we have a clip for you guys on the drawing board. Uh, let's take a look at what we have for you guys. Here we go. I'm so excited. Okay, 23 yeah. minutes into the game. Yeah, uh, we are already in the middle of a sleep. So Sleep into Arrow. This is what you're yeah. talking about. He missed the first one, um, but again, I think that just shows he maybe isn't as used to playing the Naga Siren. He's being his first competitive game, but this time he lands it. And the Witch Doctor yes. pick, it, it, surprisingly, he, yeah. he had so many good this two-year casts. This was exactly what we talked about going yeah. into the game, how, well, Witch, Witch Doctor's biggest strength is the fact that these coconuts just keep jumping back and forth and makes it really hard to fight into because it's actually one of those longest duration stunts in, in the way they work. They, you know, they're very unreliable, but when they work, they work really well. There was another fight at Roshan where they where they kept jumping back and forth. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look, we're back on <laughs> <laughs> I think we look. I think we look good standing up around there. Very professional, you know, yeah. discussing our Dota. Was not worst moment. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, uh, <coughs> Liquid Slime came uh, came together well. GH, yeah. you know, had a field day probably, stealing arrows and fishes and just having a, a grand old time. I thought Ad Finum did a you know a decent job at trying to at least conceal Bane's grip. Yeah. Every time they did so, they did it with. Um, Moonlight Shadow being used so that it wasn't easy for the Rubik to neither dispel nor steal the grip. But mm -hmm. aside from that, you know, they really didn't have much going for them. Mm. And they had a they had an aggressive tri lane. They did kill the life here in that one, but does it not matter at all? Because like, obviously well, they're actually still they not gave, a farming. They started with giving him a, a killing spree. It did that first, but kills, then, so. you know, then they took it back. Yeah, yeah but, but, but at the offset, it's already, you know, you've probably messed up too much already just because of the Siren and the Lifesteal are getting a decent amount of, of, of farm and then mm. the AM actually struggling a bit and then uh, not being able to outcarry or outshine the, the Siren near no. anywhere near fast enough. Wasn't uh, online fast enough. We uh, are also still in the middle of our MVP vote, guys. You can still vote all throughout the entire series, so also, also through the next game. And if you want to vote, you can do that by exclamation mark or typing exclamation mark MVP and your favorite number in the chat. And it's a draw, Matuma Man Miracle. 
I think it's also too too early to tell yet, uh, but yeah. I'm, I am happy to see Matumba back on carry roll, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely his best here, too. When you yeah. when I saw the lifestyle pick, I'm thinking, like, we heard stories of yesterday GH playing mid and Miracle playing carry. I'm just like, I hope that's a Matu lifestyle. That's, it's his hero. It fits his... Hit that and the Ursa, like, the heroes, I think he shines on the best. Well, GH is known for playing support. There's yep. absolutely no reason for why you would take one of the best mid laners in the world, put mm -hmm. put him on a carry position, then take one someone who succeeded very well on carry position, suddenly put him on a five uh, so i'm glad that they <laughs> found went back to their tanks. old ways even if dh is just a stand-in we just yeah. heard they pulled out of an, another land tournament yeah. uh, that probably goes to show oh well it might actually be a visa issue for dh even That's even true. if he becomes a Where's he from again? He's from somewhere Lebanon, Lebanon, Lebanon. I want to say. Uh, so I, I know that, uh, that around that area there's a lot of uh, difficult finding uh, visas to Canada. Yeah, actually. well, and one of the reasons why DC opted not to go was because they couldn't get visas in time for Canada for, for yeah. two other players. So it, it's we we don't know if DC is a confirmed pickup for Liquid yet, but it it, it might he might be. GH. Yeah. And it's yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Like I mean, we kind of we saw the Rubik and we're like, oh, Kuro Rubik. As much as Kuro is known for the hero. GH is that like upcoming player, he's the high MMR like pub star kind of player. Putting him on that full position maybe it's gonna suit Liquid more, if anything, despite Rubik being Kuro's like signature hero. So I uh, he definitely showed it there with some of his plays. So yeah. just, I'm I'm excited to see more of him if he's gonna stay stick around. So this was uh the game plan all around for Liquid, just superior to the game plan of Adfinim, if you are. Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, a much better draft. The same way we mm. saw in, in uh in the earlier games of at, at Phenom today, I was actually surprised they won the game that they did win. Mm. Uh, but that was just extremely well executed with that combined with a lot of flaws on the side of Vega because lineup wise, Vega should by all means have won that game. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's mostly draft based, I'd say. I'd like to see at Phenom, you know, pick something slightly more synergetic. Draft stronger lanes. Pick the Shadow well. Demon, you know. <laughs> you got you got the Shadow Demon in the pool. The yeah. Opponents of Life Sealer. I hear it's pretty good. Yeah, we we, we know that Adfinem yeah. uh, is maybe like playing around a little bit now in terms of. Because uh, they're starting to have the back.